Hi, I'm Ashton Addison from BlockWest Capital for Investment Pitch Media and the Crypto Coin Show. And today on Blockchain Interviews, we have Brandon Brown, the co-founder of Fairside Network. And I would love to kick off our conversation, first of all, by just hearing a little bit about Fairside, what your team's solutions that you've developed, and then we can dive into those details. Fairside's a decentralized cost sharing network, and we revolutionize everything that you know today about DeFi insurance. So cost sharing is basically taking a large group of individuals and actively sharing in the losses of others for a reward. And then ultimately, by design, the reward is higher than the amount of sharing that occurs on an annual basis. So to achieve that level, of the whole by design to achieve that, what we end up doing is we've relied on proven century old traditional insurance principles that allow us to basically offer this next generation of DeFi cover, which is blanket coverage. Mm -hmm. So just imagine like how impactful and exciting it will be for retail investors who are the most impacted by a hack, for example, to have mm -hmm. like readily available blanket coverage, which is cross chain, cross project, includes multiple mm -hmm. cover types, all from a single membership. You pay one low fee and then it actually is cover that's designed to follow you, right? That's the level of cover that is actually needed for the current crypto investor. But also, I believe it will usher in a whole new wave of retail investors into the crypto space. Because right now, there's a lot of activity and noise around cryptocurrency, but we don't see that everybody's gotten involved in it. And mm -hmm. so I think that happens for a couple of reasons. One, um, people aren't educated um, on what it, you know, what crypto actually is. And two, I think that there's a lack of insurance. So when you bring this mm -hmm. new level and comprehensive approach to insurance, you know, it's game changing. And so we, you know, Fairside's cracked DeFi insurance and we couldn't be more proud of what we've done. Maybe you can talk about like psychological aspect of it and where DeFi is at right now and how the products may continue to shift as it becomes more standardized into DeFi. You know, in my career, you know, I'm a 12 year insurance veteran, you know, student of the game there. Came like crypto fanatic over the last five years. So I spend a lot of time like in my career, you know, understanding the retail buyer and the buyer of insurance. They'll buy insurance for just about anything anything, right? They insure their most valuable assets, like everything in my house is insured. And to think that people wouldn't insure crypto assets is just not the case. There's just not available products, right? And that's mm -hmm. how like pretty much happened to me. It wasn't an available product. So we set out to design readily available products. I think the idea of being covered one allows you to sleep well at night, right? But the other idea too, is it actually allows you to be free to earn if you feel comfortable that you're covered. If you consider the idea going to, you know, DeFi staking site or some new project that's really exciting and you look at it and they've got their audits and it looks reputable and everything seems to be in order. But how big of a bullet do you fire? You know, you could be earning 20 to 100% APY, even more in some other sites, right? On other projects. But I personally know that I withdraw like how much I want to ape into some of these projects that look so cool and are doing something pretty revolutionary. And if you think about like, if I had cover, would I do that? And how easily would cover allow me to earn more? We can't all live here with how big crypto is today, right? We need new investors to come in, new retail to come Come in and interact and to grow this thing into a massive industry that it's meant to be. But everything needs insurance. Insurance is sort of like that financial layer, like that base layer that, you know, that financial primer, mm -hmm. you need it in order to create social and economic good and resiliency of the community. I think we're, you know, we're going to bring that to the market. And I think that that's going to you know, change the entire crypto industry. And I'd love to dive a little bit deeper into the product to understand how people getting involved in staking, how does that work in the ecosystem in terms of investing into the platform? Form and then also being covered for losses and when insurance claims happen. So I guess we'll just kind of talk about user stories, right? So user story number one in the network is that you're someone who wants to back the cover mechanism. So you basically stake uh, or bond your Ethereum to the capital pool. And then by doing that, you mint FSD tokens. The FSD token acts as a synthetic of the capital pool so that when you remove from one large capital pool, when you remove Ethereum from the pool in order to pay out losses, you know, there's a marginal decrease in the value of FSD. But we don't have to liquidate stakeholders because we don't pick projects. The days of like picking projects and which ones you want to back, um, those days are over in our network. Like the idea behind that too is if you have to stake a specific project, you create a really high correlation to your assets and the risk you're meant to insure. And that concentration is absolute, which then leads to liquidation of stakeholders. And, mm -hmm. and liquidation of stakeholders is really is a zero sum game because
because you basically, on one hand, you just take, for example, like if there was a loss to a project that was being covered, you just basically swap positions where now cover, you know, the insured is now protected, but you liquidated someone to do that. So you, there was really no economic gain that was had. You just swap positions. And so the idea, you know, in our network is that, you know, we're able to provide economic and social good of insurance without liquidating stakeholders mm -hmm. by using this one large diversified staking pool that we call network staking. And so network staking is just like the idea of staking the entire network. You know, I estimate that, you know, we'll, we'll come out of the gate about five times more capital efficient than any other DeFi mm -hmm. protocol has. Using traditional models, you know, you could be in the 40, 60 times, you know, like a gearing ratio is where we are right now. And so by being a stakeholder, though, you can ultimately, you know, connect your wallet to our site and then start earning rewards mm -hmm. um, because we're a circular you know, economy where all revenue generated from the network is paid back to stakeholders. In this case, anybody holding a token.